everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a carnivore seafood chowder recipe. We are using some wild caught salad shrimp, some wild caught mahi mahi, some wild caught Pacific cod. I'm also using some clam juice because I really wanted to have a seafood like umami flavor. I have two cans of chopped clams and then I also have some chicken broth and some heavy grass-fed raw cream that I get from a local farm. Now I'm sure you can use whatever other fish that you would like. I used these choices of fish just because they break up into like really good solid pieces and not turn into mush. We're starting out with some chicken broth and the clam juice and I'm just going to add this into a pot and I'm going to add in my fish it was four whole pieces and I added a little bit more chicken broth as well some bay leaves and some salt and then I also opened the two cans of clams and also added the juice all in there along with that then I'm just putting the lid on and I'm going to cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes until the fish is done and it all just breaks up into really nice pieces Once all the fish is done and you've broken it all up really easily with a spoon, then we're going to add the bag of salad shrimp. This shrimp is already cooked, so we're literally just heating it up in the soup that's already cooked. Now, if you got raw shrimp, you would definitely wanna add that in when you were cooking the fish. Um, but I just like the, these little tiny shrimps just to kind of have like a bunch of different things floating around, if that makes sense. And then I'm adding my cream, and I'm also adding a little bit of Old Bay seasoning just to kind of like make it a little bit more of a nice color. And I also like using spices in my carnivore cooking. You can totally leave that out if you don't wanna add that. I just put the lid on for a little bit longer, about a couple minutes just to kind of heat the shrimp thoroughly. And then that is it. I topped mine with some parsley just because it looks really nice for the photo, but you don't have to use that. That's it for this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you all in another video. Bye guys.